The vapor charging is the safest method as liquid should not be introduced to the compressor suction. However, it takes more time to charge vapor as compared to liquid refrigerant. For liquid charging, the connection is made to the charging point near the receiver. Firstly, the refrigerant charging bottle is kept on the weighing machine. The bottle is then connected to the charging valve with the connection pipe. Before tightening the cap on charging pipe, open bottle valve to remove air in the pipe. Then tighten the cap and bottle valve fully. Charging valve is still closed. Change compressor to manual running and start it. Close the condenser outlet valve. Pump down the entire current charge to the condenser. Open the charging valve slowly when suction pressure just above zero. Valve opening should be done slowly that no frost formed on the compressor suction pipe. Level in the condenser site gas is continuously monitored. As it, the refrigerant is still circulating in the circuit, it is difficult to get the actual quantity from the sight glass. The weighing machine is referred for how much charge has been supplied. Close the charging valve and pumping down the entire charge until suction pressure just above zero. Stop the compressor and close the discharge valve. Cooling water kept running for some hour. Then air is purged out through purging valve on condenser until the refrigerant gas appear at the valve. The oil level of the crankcase of the compressor can be checked using gauge glass. To charge the compressor with lube oil, first we need to collect the refrigerant in the condenser. Start the compressor with the discharge valve of the condenser is in closed position. This will collect the refrigerant till the compressor cuts off on low pressure trip. Now close the power to the compressor. Shut the suction and discharge valve of the compressor. Now crank open the relief valve on the discharge side of the compressor to release any access pressure which will make easy to charge the lube oil. Use a hand pump whose suction hose is inserted in the oil can and discharge hose is connected to the compressor oil charging point. Before opening the charging valve, connect the discharge hose of the pump and purge air from the line by slightly loosening it. After purging, tighten the connection and open the oil charging valve. Pump the lube oil from the can into the compressor and monitor the level in the gauge glass. Close the charging valve and open the hand pump connection. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop your comments below and we will get back to you at the earliest. If you like this video, please subscribe to Marine Insight channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post such amazing videos. Please like, comment and share this video and do not forget to subscribe.